the mood to jazz up the humble Caesar salad. Now usually when you're making a Caesar salad you would use some cos lettuce but instead of that I'm going to use these really cool kaolettes. Now I've been heating up some grapeseed oil and now I'm going to add some breadcrumbs. Now this is just two day old sourdough that I've taken the crust off and blended so we get this fine crumb. You know usually in the classic Caesar salad you would have cubes of crunchy toasted croutons but I like this for the texture. Now I want to keep tossing it in the oil so all of the breadcrumbs absorb the moisture. I'll add some salt to season it and just use a spatula to break it up. Now have this on a medium heat. If it's too hot, they're going to toast too fast. And if it's too low, well, they'll be soggy. We want these to be crunchy and golden. And just like you were cooking any other toast, you need to keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. And I like to toss it every 30 seconds so we get a nice even colour. Now while that's happening, I'm going to boil two eggs and I'll place them in some cold water and then we'll turn the heat up and I'll bring it to the boil. Now once that water starts to boil, then I'll cook it for another two minutes and we'll get the perfect egg. All right, we'll just keep tossing this. So you can start to hear it start to go crunchy. We're just gonna wait for some more color on that. While that's happening, we can start the Caesar sauce. Now a Caesar sauce has to have anchovies in it. For all the people out there that don't like anchovies, you can leave it out. It's still a delicious sauce, but to really get that umami savoury flavour, I think it's essential. So one whole egg into the jug. I like a good hit of anchovies, so I'll be using three and we'll just break them up. I'll also need one clove of garlic and I'll just crush that with the back of a knife and into the jug and some mustard. And before I continue, I'll just give these crumbs a little toss, taking shape now. Now back to the sauce. I'm going to start blitzing this until it starts to come together. Then we need to thicken it just like any other mayonnaise. I like to use some grapeseed oil, a small amount to start with just to control it. Once I've added one cup of this, I'll add some olive oil. Okay, the base of this sauce is done. Look how thick and lush it is. That is fantastic. Before we continue, let's get these breadcrumbs out. Ooh, a deep caramelised golden colour. And listen to that sound, super crunchy. Now I've just got some paper toweling here and we'll just drain the breadcrumbs on that. And just clean out that pan because we'll need this in a moment to cook our bacon. Now to finish off this sauce, extra virgin olive oil, about a tablespoon and some parmesan, a few generous spoonfuls of that. And then to give it some zing, you could add some lemon juice or I like to add some red wine vinegar. And then we'll blitz it again. All right, perfect. That sauce is just the way I like it. Okay, now for the bacon, I'm using streaky bacon. So I like to start with just a few pieces so we don't overcrowd the pan and then I can add some more. So I'll finish cooking that until it's crispy. We'll wait for our eggs to cook and then we'll peel them. And in the meantime, I can get on to these gorgeous kaolettes. Have a look how pretty they are. They've got a gorgeous purple colour to them. And this is what you get, these little leaves. So they're not going to be too bitter in flavour. Just to prep these, I'll just take them off the stalk, just snapping them off. And the deep purple and green colour of these is just going to make this salad pop. It's not going to be your average Caesar. So I've peeled all the individual leaves off the little kaolettes. Look how gorgeous they are. And now we can assemble. Eggs are cooked and instead of serving them on top of it, what I'm going to do is just break the eggs. Look at that yolk. Oh, <laughs> yummy. This is almost going to give it an extra sauce, but just break it up into four pieces. And then the second one, again, just breaking it with your hands so we get that pop of yolk. You know, that yolk is almost going to give it a cheesy finish. So yummy. So break that up. And then speaking of cheese, let's add some more Parmesan. I like to grate it into a crumb so we get more of an intense cheese flavour. 
Now for our bacon. Oh, I love when it's this crispy so it just snaps. We're just going to snap that into the bowl. Now for our Caesar dressing. I've thinned it out with just a small amount of water just so it coats everything. So just lightly with your tongs, toss all that together. Beautiful. And I think we can add some more dressing now. And at this stage we can add our breadcrumbs and then reserve some back for the topping just so we show off the crunch of them. Tossing that again, perfect. Now to plate up, a nice healthy serving of that into the centre of the plate, getting the chunks of egg and the chunks of bacon. And now a few more of those breadcrumbs over the top and some extra parmesan just to bring it all together. Wow, that is such an appealing Caesar salad. I love the colour of the kale. It just works so nicely with this. But more importantly, it's going to taste great, that nutty, mild flavour. This is definitely what I like to call a sexy salad. Mm -hmm.